Hey folks, so here we are, wrapping it up. You made it. So we made it through the research paper. Everybody has their feedback. Um, I have wrapped up the revision plans. Um, so everybody should be set to get that portfolio done. Um, so a few things that I wanted to bring up. Um, make sure that you carefully review the research paper essay assignment and the rubric and the materials that came back with your paper. So the marked up rubric, uh, the comments, all of that. Um, some of you need to go back and review some of the course content from earlier in the semester. So if there's an area that you were struggling with, um, going back and looking at the materials from the week that we covered that would be helpful. Um, I've noticed that a lot of folks are not accessing the course materials. A lot of folks aren't watching the videos um, and, you know, trying to move through the course without doing the reading and uh, watching the videos and engaging with the content does cause some problems. Um, so if you have found yourself at the end of the semester, um, you know, feeling like you don't know some of these things, I'm 100% happy to answer questions, but in many cases you need to go back and review some of the information. Um, the last few videos I posted less than half of the class watched, so um, I know that a lot of people are checked out uh, in the class. And I understand that it is the end of the semester, people have a lot going on. I know you have lives outside this class, I 100% understand that, um, but we're very close uh, and this um, final portfolio is your last chance to show me what you can do. So the point of this final portfolio is for you to present your best work. So take that research paper and do what you need to do to it. And that does not mean just fixing some commas and some cosmetic stuff. If you had notes on content, if you had uh, it indicated in the rubric that you need to work on your argument if you needed better sources that you need to do that stuff okay um, this is not just kind of a, a quick clean up and turn in this is it this is the last revision um, so make sure that your work is in the best shape that it can be in you also along with that revision will be turning in your journal that talks about your progress over the course of the semester um, so I ask you to look at um, how you've improved or how you have it and why you think that is and just, you know tell me why that is you know is it um, you know are there problems with this content delivery method for you is there um, something that needed more or better coverage tell me that stuff um, and then make an argument for the grade that you believe you've earned in the class um, so you know looking and I encourage you as you do this journal to look back at the very first work that you did whether it's the first journal you wrote for me talking about your experiences in English class or the description of the ad. You know, look at one of those early assignments and then take a look at what you just turned in. Um, in many cases, you don't see how you're improving with every single assignment. I notice it, but you don't as you're moving through the course. So looking at how you wrote at the beginning and how you're writing right now will help you see that difference. It's hard to see your growth and to feel your growth when you're in the middle of it. But after you kind of come through a patch, you can look back and go, oh yeah, I did learn stuff. Uh, so... The final portfolio is due on Thursday at noon. Please make sure that you attach both your revised research paper and your journal before you hit submit. Um, I'm going to be pushing to grade those as they come in. I've got a few research paper reflections left to grade and then I'm going to jump in and start grading those portfolios as they come in. I don't want you to have to wait on your grades and grades are due uh, first thing Monday morning so I'm going to be working to get them in uh, in a timely fashion. Um, so I've really enjoyed working with you all. Um, I know I've gotten to see a lot of you in the virtual office, a few of you in person. Um, some of us, we've just talked about email and through the checkpoints. I appreciate the effort that you've put into the course. Um, and if you've gotten to the end of the course and you're not feeling great about it, take that as a learning experience too. Um, think about, you know, what could have been better? You know, was it a time factor? Is it that, you know, you do better taking in-person classes? Um, is it that this course came in a tough time in your life. That stuff happens. Um, so think about that and let that help you as you plan and move forward and remember, you know, what will work well for you uh, as you move into your next courses.
And of course, if you have questions or need help, I'm here. I'm not going away. Uh, I've, office hours are still rolling uh, Tuesday, Wednesday at 11. If you need an appointment, let me know. Um, as usual, I'll be working off campus on Thursday, uh, and I will be sitting by my computer ready to pounce on your final journals and your final revisions and get those graded. So take care. Happy almost end of the college semester, and I hope that everything wraps up really well for you.